Hey guys, it's Adam from Beyond the Grid. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, thanks for stopping by. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create that Instagram theme using Lightroom. So for today's tutorial, I've collaborated with Kate and Ansari to show you guys what a consistent Instagram theme looks like. So as you guys can see with Caitlin's Instagram, she keeps that consistent look throughout all of her images. It's built off of basis of a rose gold coloring. So a lot of people really just don't know what Lightroom presets are. Well, they're filters. And so when you're on Instagram and you swipe left and you get that filter, but you can't really adjust it, well, that's where Lightroom presets come in. They allow you to create a basis to work off of, adjust the exposure, adjust the temperature based on the photo you've taken, and create that consistent look all across. So let's jump into this tutorial, and we're gonna show you guys how to create a preset and use it for your photos. Okay, so to start with, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the exposure, contrast, and the highlights. You'll find this under the light area. So we're gonna bring this up just a little bit. Let's say plus 14. Contrast, we're gonna bring that up just a little bit as well. Let's say plus four. And highlights, we're gonna bring those down. Let's say minus 57. And shadows, we're gonna bring those up a little bit. Whites, we're gonna bring those down. And blacks, we'll bring those up just a little bit. Then for coloring, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this down. And there's a train in the background. So the tint, we're gonna bring that up, let's say plus four. Vibrancy, we'll bring that up to let's say plus 12. Saturation, uh, let's say just a little bit, let's say plus five. Clarity, we're not gonna to touch too much, just bring it down just a little bit, just to soften everything off a little bit. And dehaze, vignetting, all that stuff we're gonna leave. Sharpening and noise reduction, we're gonna leave all of that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back into light, we're gonna go into curves, and we're gonna start adjusting these. So to start with, we're gonna adjust all the RGBs. So we're gonna do one stop here, and let's do two at the bottom. So we're gonna drop this one off a little bit, drop this one a little bit, raise that one up a little bit, and bring down our highlights just a little bit as well. Then we're gonna go into our reds. Okay, so now that we're in the reds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a drop here, one right here and one right here. And we're gonna raise this one just a tiny bit, drop this one just a minus, and this one as well. Then we're gonna go into the greens. We're gonna drop this one just a tiny bit, put one here just a little bit up, here just a little tiny bit up. The blue's the same thing. So this one here, we're gonna add a little more blue to it. So up there, and drop this guy down here. So as you guys can see, that's already pretty good. Then we're gonna come in over here, we're gonna drop this guy up a little bit, and this guy up a little bit as well. Then we're gonna bring these all over. So let's say there, and then we're gonna drop that one down. And then we're gonna come over to colors, and we're gonna go into mix, start with the reds, so we're gonna bring up our reds just a little bit, let's say plus 11. Saturations, let's drop this down. Let's say minus 51. And luminances, let's go down to uh, minus 15, looks good. Oranges, we're gonna bring this one up a little bit. Say plus four. Saturation down a tiny bit. Too much, let's say minus seven. And luminancy, that uh, looks pretty good right there. Then we're gonna go over to your yellows. So we're gonna drop this one down to let's say plus 17. Raise it up with the saturation, plus three, and luminancy, drop that down to let's say plus 36, or minus 36. Greens, we're gonna raise this up, let's say plus 15, actually it's a little bit much, let's go plus 10. Saturation, let's drop that down, and luminancy, let's raise that to 10. Then we're gonna go to our aquas. We're gonna raise this up so we get a lot more blues out of this. So let's say 30 and we'll drop that minus 30. Luminancy, let's go up a little bit. Mm, say 43. And then our blues, we're gonna go up to plus two. Looks good. Saturation, we're gonna drop that down. Let's say minus 32. And luminancy, we're gonna bring up to 14. Then we're gonna go over to our, uh, I think it's purples, might be magentas, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna bring this down, 
Actually, let's bring it up to about plus four. Saturation, minus 11. And luminancy down to, let's say, minus 19 looks good. And then our purple or magenta, whatever the one this one is, we're going to bring this up to, let's say, plus four. Luminancy down to, again, 11. And let's drop this guy to a 19. And that looks pretty good. So as you guys can see, the before and then the after. So if you guys want to pick up an entire collection, Caitlin and I have collaborated to come up with seven presets that will work on an array of photos. We're also giving you guys a free preset. Both of them are going to be linked down below. So if you guys found anything helpful in this video, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you hit that subscribe button? And until the next video, take care, everyone. Thursday.